When it comes to food, Good Friday is all about the fish. Growing up, that meant fish fingers or chippy tea at home. I wanted to do something a little bit different for this Good Friday, so I'm making katsu fish. Preheat your oven and put some rice on to boil. Then start on the coating for the fish. Add salt and freshly ground black pepper into a small bowl of flour and mix together. Then crack a couple of eggs into a second bowl. Lightly whisk to combine. Add a good pinch of paprika into some panko breadcrumbs in a third bowl. Stir in a little oil too to help the panko brown evenly. Then take those meaty haddock fillets and dredge in the seasoned flour. Then dip into the beaten egg. And finally coat in the panko mixture. Turn a couple of times to make sure you get a good even coating. And place on a baking tray. Place the fish in the oven with medium steam. This ensures the fish will be flaky and tender while still crispy on the outside. Whilst the fish is in the oven, start on the katsu sauce. Sweat down some sliced onions in a pan with a little oil and some minced garlic. Although a little unconventional for Easter, this fish katsu is a real family friendly recipe. The kids love the tangy sweetness of the sauce together with the crispy coated fish. Now the onions have softened, add in the dried ginger, garam masala, curry powder and flour and mix to coat the onions. Then slowly stir in the stock a little at a time until you're left with a thick sauce. Add in some ketchup in a dish that the kids love and then we're going to start really layering up those flavours. So first in goes some Worcester sauce for tanginess. Then a few good glugs of soy sauce for saltiness. And finally we'll splash in some mirin and a tablespoon of sugar for sweetness. Stir together and let that fragrantly delicious sauce bubble for a couple of minutes. You can add a splash of water in if it gets too thick. Now the sauce is ready, turn off the heat. I like to strain the sauce for a smooth and glossy finish, but you can leave the onions in if you prefer. By now the fish should be tender and crisply golden. Remove from the oven and transfer to a chopping board. Slice into thick strips. Listen to the crunch of that coating. Then place the sliced fish onto a waiting bowl of fluffy boiled rice, decorated with a few thin slices of crunchy white cabbage. Spoon over that deliciously smooth and tangy katsu sauce. And sprinkle on some freshly chopped spring onions for colour. That's my Good Friday fish with a Japanese twist. Mm -hmm.